From blatant voter fraud to violent protests, these events have shaped the political landscape in ways that are both fascinating and deeply troubling. We're talking about moments where the very fabric of American democracy was stretched, torn, and in some cases, just straight up set on fire. So buckle up, folks, because we're about to embark on a wild ride through the underbelly of American politics. Let's get started. Our first stop takes us back to 1960, a time of poodle skirts, doo-wop, and rampant voter fraud. The election Kennedy vs. Nixon, a contest so close it would make a photo finish at the Kentucky Derby look like a leisurely stroll. Cook County, Chicago, was the epicenter of controversy, with whispers of dead people casting ballots and votes magically appearing and disappearing. Despite the allegations, no concrete evidence of fraud was ever proven in court. The 1960 election left a lingering doubt that perhaps, just perhaps, things weren't as squeaky clean as we'd like to believe. Fast forward to 1968, a year that felt like a collective national meltdown. The Vietnam War was raging, civil rights protests were sweeping the nation, and the Democratic National Convention rolled into Chicago. Thousands of anti-war protesters clashed with police in riot gear, and images of brutality flashed across television screens. The Chicago Police Department, known for its tough tactics, suddenly looked less like peacekeepers and more like an occupying force. The violence was met with a level of force that shocked even the most hardened observers. The 1968 DNC riots highlighted the deep divisions within American society and the growing distrust in government. Ah, Watergate the scandal that needs no introduction. It all started with a seemingly minor break-in at the Democratic National Committee headquarters in the Watergate Hotel. Five men, caught red-handed trying to bug the opposition's phones. The trail of dirty tricks and hush money led all the way to President Richard Nixon himself. Tapes were subpoenaed, lies were exposed, and the American public watched in horrified fascination. Nixon, facing impeachment, resigned in disgrace leaving behind a legacy of cynicism and disillusionment. Watergate was a national trauma, a wound that took years to heal, and its scars continue to shape American politics to this day. The year 2000, a year that was supposed to mark the dawn of a new millennium, filled with hope and technological advancements. But instead, it became a year that would forever be remembered for one of the most controversial elections in American history. A presidential election so close, so contentious, that it made the 1960 election look like a walk in the park. The nation was on edge as the results trickled in, with every vote seeming to count more than ever before. The battleground was Florida, where the political climate was hotter than the weather. The Sunshine State became the epicenter of a political storm that would test the very foundations of American democracy. The election came down to a razor-thin margin triggering an automatic recount, the entire nation held its breath as the recount process began, with every ballot scrutinized to the nth degree. Enter the Hanging Chad, a tiny piece of paper that became the most infamous character in this electoral drama. These partially punched ballots left everyone guessing, was it a vote or wasn't it? Voters using punch card ballots were supposed to completely detach a small piece of paper, the Chad, to register their vote, but many didn't, leading to widespread confusion and disputes. The nation watched as election officials squinted at ballots with magnifying glasses trying to determine voter intent from these tiny dangling pieces of paper. It was a painstaking process that seemed almost surreal. The Supreme Court eventually stepped in, stopping the recount and effectively handing the election to Bush. Their decision was met with both relief and outrage depending on which side of the political spectrum you were on. The 2000 election showed just how fragile American democracy could be. It was a wake-up call, a reminder that even the most established systems are not infallible. The legacy of that election still lingers, a cautionary tale for future generations. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to enter the strange, unsettling world of the 2016 election. This was the digital age, where the weapons of choice were memes, misinformation, and hacking. The players, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. The 2016 election was a perfect storm of political polarization, social media manipulation, and foreign interference. Russia allegedly hacked into the Democratic National Committee's emails and leaked them to the public. Russian trolls and bots flooded social media with fake news and propaganda. 
the 2016 election showed just how vulnerable American democracy was to foreign interference in the digital age. Ah, 2020, the year that just kept on giving. It was a year that will be remembered for its relentless challenges and unprecedented events. The COVID-19 pandemic was raging, the economy was in freefall, and the political climate was about as stable as a Jenga tower built on a roller coaster. Businesses shuttered, schools closed, and the world seemed to come to a standstill. The uncertainty was palpable, and the fear was real. The 2020 election was always going to be tense, but things took a dark turn in the lead-up to Election Day. Campaigns were more heated than ever, with candidates and their supporters clashing at every opportunity. The air was thick with tension, and the stakes felt higher than ever before. Reports surfaced of armed militias and extremist groups showing up at polling places. These groups, often heavily armed, claimed they were there to protect the integrity of the vote, but their presence was anything but reassuring. This wasn't just about protecting the vote, it was about intimidation, particularly to minority voters. The sight of armed individuals at polling stations was a stark reminder of the lengths some would go to influence the outcome of the election. The 2020 election showed that the right to vote was under attack. Long lines, malfunctioning machines, and the looming threat of violence made the simple act of casting a ballot a daunting task for many. It was a chilling reminder that the fight for a more just and equitable society was far from over. The resilience of voters and activists alike highlighted the enduring struggle for civil rights and the importance of safeguarding democracy for future generations. The 2020 election wasn't just about what happened at the ballot box, it was about what happened afterward. As the votes were counted and Joe Biden emerged as the victor, tensions boiled over, spilling out onto the streets. Protests against police brutality and racial injustice became entangled with the election results. While many protests remained peaceful, others descended into chaos and violence. Buildings were vandalized, businesses were looted, and fires were set. The post-election unrest in 2020 was a stark reminder that American democracy is a fragile thing. It showed that the right to protest is not a license for violence. Let's take a trip down south to Georgia a state with a long and complicated history when it comes to voting rights. In 2018, Georgia found itself at the center of a national debate over voter suppression. The election pitted Brian Kemp against Stacey Abrams. Under Kemp's watch, Georgia implemented a series of voting restrictions. These restrictions disproportionately disenfranchised minority voters. The 2018 Georgia gubernatorial election highlighted the urgent need for federal voting rights protections. January 6, 2021, a date that will forever be etched in the annals of American history. As Congress convened to certify the results of the 2020 presidential election, a mob of Donald Trump supporters stormed the U.S. Capitol. The images were shocking, surreal, like something out of a dystopian film. The chaos and violence that unfolded were unprecedented in modern American history. The Capitol riot was the culmination of months of lies and disinformation about the election. False claims of voter fraud and a stolen election had been spread widely, fueling anger and mistrust. It was a direct assault on American democracy. The very heart of the nation's democratic process was under siege. The events of January 6th were a wake-up call, a stark reminder that democracy requires constant vigilance. The fragility of democratic institutions was laid bare for all to see. It was a stark reminder that democracy requires constant vigilance. The principles of freedom and justice must be actively defended. The Capitol riot was a dark day for America, a day that will be remembered for its violence and chaos, but it also served as a rallying cry for those who believe in the promise of democracy. In the aftermath, many Americans were inspired to take action, to stand up for democratic values and ensure that such an attack on democracy would never happen again. Our final stop takes us to California, where even in a state known for its progressive politics, the specter of election fraud reared its ugly head. In the 2022 midterm elections, a series of absentee ballot fraud schemes were uncovered. These weren't just isolated incidents, they were organized efforts to manipulate the outcome of elections. While these schemes were ultimately unsuccessful, they served as a stark reminder that our elections are not immune to fraud. The 2022 absentee ballot fraud cases in California highlighted the need for robust election security measures. They showed that we must remain vigilant in protecting the integrity of our elections. 
Well folks, there you have it. A whirlwind tour of some of the most infamous election scandals in American history. From hanging chads to Russian hackers, from voter suppression to outright insurrection, we've seen it all. But amidst all the chaos and dysfunction, there's also a glimmer of hope. It's up to each and every one of us to stay informed, get involved, and never give up on the promise of American democracy. Thanks for watching.